Hello. Uh, the thing that I think's overhyped is uh, being young, because I'm 17, which is the world's worst age, because it means I do everything an adult does, but when I do it, it's illegal. Um, what is there for a 17-year-old to do? I can drive, haven't got a licence, so that ended that fairly quickly. I can buy paracetamol, um, so I've got a new way to kill myself. <laughs> Uh, but that, I can't. But the thing is, I look about 12, so I don't even get served for paracetamol. So if I get a cold, I go to the chemist and I think, well, what am I going to need? Box of tissues, got a runny nose. Um, paracetamol for the headache, Vaseline, chap lips. Get denied the paracetamol, so now I'm buying a box of tissue and Vaseline. <laughs> so I haven't cured my cold, but I do have a masturbation kit for beginners. <laughs> What's the other thing I can do? I can have sex. I remember, I think that's the biggest slap in the face from the government I've ever received. Sat there on my 16th birthday. Like, yeah, I can finally have sex. Still haven't. Because <sighs> it's not as if they send anyone round, is it? It's not like there's a knock at the door, you run downstairs, open it, Elliot, yes, this is candy. Oh, brilliant. My mum only got me FIFA. This is so much better. But then the other thing about being this age is you've got mates who are this age and they're just annoying. They're, they're fucking annoying. Because they're, they're called lads, and lads just the word we use for dick. <laughs> now, I'll give you an example. They were like, here's what we're going to do, boys. Here's what we're going to do. We should go all on a lads' holiday. Oi, all right, all right, where should we go? Let's go Magaloof. Oi, Shagaloof. But if Elliot comes along, it'll be Fagaloof. <laughs> oh, you're really selling this one to me, boys. <laughs> Can't wait for two weeks of sun, sea, and sexuality question. That's. <laughs> I have to go to parties with these boys, and there's immense pressure put on you as a young man that you have to talk to girls. And sort of get talking and stuff, and then they go, let's go have a dance. Now, the thing is, that's fine, but with my age group, dancing isn't dancing, it's air sex, right? <laughs> it's twerking, it's grinding, it's whining. I can barely do the real thing. So, you know, I was thought, right, what am I going to do if this girl wants me to dance for her? I know, I'll ask my mates for some tips. But the thing is, my mates are really cool South London boys and they were in a break dancing group. So I went up and I was like, all right, bruv, look, she wants me to dance with her, what do I do? And this was genuinely, this was his response. He went, I fam, listen, yeah? What you got to do, blood? You just got to show her the moves. You go lay down in a bedroom, innit? <laughs> I went, I can't show her that level of disappointment, yeah? I mean, <laughs> But the other thing about being young is everything is your fault. Everything's your fault and they blame everything is on you. Like, the thing that I hate is when they blame things I love. Like, video games is the one thing I love. Get to see them go to a different world and stuff, not focus on that. Just focus on video games. It's great. But then people blame it. Like, they go, oh, Grand Theft Auto, that's what's making kids go murder people. No, it's not. I play a lot of FIFA. I've never... Ever I've never gone, I should go out for a jog. Right? It's just <laughs> never... It never happens. Like, I think it's just something... It, it's something to blame, that's what it is. It's there, it's easy to blame. I reckon even back in the 12th century, they were doing the same thing. They were going, yeah, you know what's causing all these wars and making kids violent? Bloody tapestries, yes. <laughs> Little Johnny went down to the bio tapestry, come back, be firing arrows into cows' eyes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Elliot Still. Thank you very much.